Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. You join me late on a winter's evening at D-Class Automotive. You may remember that earlier this year, these guys retrimmed the steering wheel of my Ferrari 360. Well today, I bought them a slightly different and quite unique challenge. This is the Porsche UK 911 Carrera T, which has very kindly been lent to me for the week, because my 911 Carrera T is coming on a boat to Australia for the start of Drive the World. The reason I bought them this car is because it has a very similar interior spec to mine. That is comfort seats, no rear seats, and clear lightweight glass. Whilst that is the spec that I always wanted, it does provide a rather unique privacy and security problem. Basically, because of that clear glass, any bags that I want to put in the back of the car during Drive the World are quite sort of on view to would-be thieves. And having experienced a smash and grab with my Bath 695 about a year ago, it's not something I really want to happen again. So, I decided to see if D-Class could help out with creating a kind of temporary parcel shelf for the Carrera T. Before I show you what's going on inside, let me just talk you through the actual problem or show you the sort of problem. Here is uh, the Porsche UK Carrera T. Uh, I've pulled the front seat forward to show you this is the sort of rear section. Now this is brilliant because I can fit a lot of bags back here, even though my car has the roof box and obviously still the front boot, uh, I just need a bit more extra space because of the stuff that I'm, I'm going to be taking with me. So lots of room back here, but as you can see, very visible from the outside you can let me just fix the where's my polarizer uh, it's not making much of a difference but yeah from the outside you can just see into that rear section very easily so our task or the task for D-Class is to somehow come up with a sort of partial shelf solution which is easily removable I don't want to have to drill any holes do anything too permanent I'm hoping we can find a way to sort of hook on or velcro or somehow stick some kind of maybe canvas drape or something that I can take in and out as and when I need it so uh, yes that's what we're going to be trying to do um, close that up and let's head in and see what's lurking around Okay, we are now going for a demonstration and look at this, look at this for service. The guys have made me my very own custom travel bag as well, which is incredible. But anyway, um, I set them this task this morning and this is going to be the first time I see uh, this temporary sort of parcel shelf in action. Um, I also need to learn how to apply it. Obviously this isn't my exact car, but it's got all the same fittings and sort of elements as my car does. Including these very useful places to Hook at the back. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Look at this. You're not going to be able to see anything, and that's the whole point. Okay, right. So I'll, two, I'll get in there with the camera, and you can talk me through what's going on. Oh, this is this is perfect. So there's two ways to work it. You can either have a full cover like here sure so anything behind traveling it's hiding everything we don't know how much luggage you're going to be carrying nor so do i at this point but <laughs> at this point it's good so it can either fit as it is here um covering up what you've got there and then with release of the top elastics there if you're only going light obviously you oh, still want to amazing. fit out the car it will rest there Perfect. this is all elasticated meaning if you obviously want to fit only so many amount of bags you can mount it up to there wow. um and i say once you so mount it up to how is that so with your bags in there yeah, obviously okay, sure. it will naturally take its own Fine. shape yeah, as to absolutely. as how it is that makes sense and then obviously if, if you want the full cover if you want the full cover and you want to stack some more bits on top and you don't want anybody seeing visually from the front or anything like that we can well what's kind of perfect is that like, i can have it sort of in its there. relaxed mode as i'm yep. driving around absolutely if we got fully up and then if i pull over somewhere i want a extra protection absolutely i can then pin it up, pin on, it up the, that's on it. the hooks which yeah. is absolutely perfect so it all fits it all 
tucks, the tucks underneath, there. literally underneath here. There's no drilling, there's no Velcro, there's no fixtures or fittings which shouldn't be where they are. Everything is utilised what's there inside of the vehicle. You're a genius, mate. I mean, this was done in yeah. about five, six hours. So yeah, I see. Well, I'm yeah. not quite sure you managed to turn it around so quickly, but it is brilliant. And the thing which I love is that from the back here, my camera really doesn't really pick up very much, which is the whole point. Um, because that is kind of what we wanted, a bit of protection, and it all just sort of blends in and ties together nicely. And I have my lovely uh, travel bag to go along, which will fit perfectly in a, a boot as and when I don't need it. So, um, yeah, you've definitely, I think, hopefully saved my bacon and yeah, will stop I'll my say. underwear from getting knit somewhere. James worked through his lunch as well. Oh, mate, I needed that in my steering wheel, didn't you? work through my lunch. Exactly. Mate, Real. thank you so much though. No, it's it's looking spot on. And I've been getting those hooks just on the on the back there. We were lucky that we had those kind of places to, to mount them. To utilise, that's, it, that's it, absolutely. And that's the thing, we use that then further, put the elastic on there so it'll actually stretch and move about as you as you add any luggage that you, you require. Amazing. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it as always. No worries. Top job. So there we go, once again the guys at D-Class have absolutely smashed it and come up with a relatively simple but very creative solution to my quite unique problem. Actually I don't know how unique it is, there's plenty of cars out there that don't have partial shelves that maybe need them. But anyway, if you have any interior needs, I can't recommend these guys enough. I've been so happy with my 360 steering wheel since they got their hands on it and now I think they've come up with the perfect solution for next year's trip. So anyway, check them out, I'll put all their info below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.